Hello, I'm Michael. I'm a video game deployment student. I study at Sena. In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step the process that I use to make brains or waves and who to use them for a model or whatever you want. To create the brain, we will need to modify a line so that it looks neutralized with other equals one. We can also modify the size or the number of polygons. Okay, so let's start. First, we take a plane, rotate it 19 degrees in X. We enter edit mode, right click and suit divide. Now we select the axis except the upper right. Press X, axis and position the left end of the line on the coordinate axis. Now from the edit mode, subdivide the line, add the three more vertices. And for the top view or by pressing the seventh cape of the numeric keyboard, we replicate the following form. Then subdivide one more and select these points. We go to the front view or you can press one on the nomadic keyboard and we go up on the Z axis. The line should be like this. Now we are going to add mod parts. Click in add modifiers and select the first one. Go to the top view and modify the count to make it longer. From the transfer panel you can see the length. Then we add another array. We put 3 in the count and move on the x axis until we have them interlaced in this way. You can give yourself by the tip of the H line. Now we add the subdivision surface modifier. If you want more polygons, you can increase the value. We will have something like this. Now we go to object mode. We save a copy in case we want it and we convert the object to a curve. We press right click, convert to curve. Now we have to give volume for the lines. In the right panel, we select the properties of the curve and we display the section colored geometry and then the panel colored bevel. We modify the depth value to thicken the lines and the resolution value for the polygon of each cylinder. We go to object mode and press right click, select shape smooth to make it look better and we can convert to mesh sooner or later dependent or whatever we want to make it unwrap or not. To be able to use in our model we must make it follow a curve. For this in object mode we create a curve of the path type and position it as we did at the beginning will be brain line and we can make it protrude a light. Let's go to the brain and add a new modifier, curve. With Dopper we select the line that we have just put. Now we can freely move our brain from the edit mode of the line. In addition to this, we can modify the thickness of the brain in different section of the line, selecting a point and pressing Alt S and we can modify its rotation by pressing Ctrl T. Ready, so we can use brains or waves as we need it. If we want more uh, forward lines such as this one which is only made up of two lines or this one for a hair which is made 
up of three lines. Now you can have used it as get the most out of it. Thanks for watching the video and staying new to the end. See you next time. Bye bye.